Oh, everybody sticks here with the token minorities, and yes, it is me. Uh, ever since I recorded my last video, I've kind of been battling some, like, type of flu bug or something like that, but it's caused my voice to drop about an octave, but don't worry, it is still me, and I was trying to wait it out before I could put out another video, but it just kind of persisted to the point where I was like, screw it, we're doing it live, and uh, I'm bringing you another deck today on TCGO, and this one is centered around Greninja Break, which came out with Breakpoint and is actually pretty OP in my opinion. But before I get into the deck, just a reminder that if you like this deck or found it helpful in any way, please leave a like, drop a comment, maybe subscribe, it really helps us out. And just a reminder, if you uh, have any recommendations for a deck, please leave it in the comments below and I will try to get to it. But anyway, on to the deck, it is centered around Greninja Break with the Giant Water Shuriken. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may discard a Water Energy card from your hand and put six damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So, I mean, that's really amazing at sniping things out. And uh, there are plenty of cards to complement it, which I am getting into right now. We're running two Mil Tank. It's our only non-water Pokemon in this entire deck, just because of powerful friends for one energy. If you have a Greninja out, you can hit for 80, which is pretty ridiculous. And also, it keeps your Greninjas safe on the bench while Miltank is active, and Miltank can hit pretty hard. So, I mean, that's why Miltank is in the deck. We are only running three Froakie because of the Frogadier that we are running. It has water duplicates, which you search your deck for up to three Frogadier and put them onto your bench, sh shuffle your deck afterward, meaning that you really only need one Froakie in order to get this deck going. So, uh, you don't really want Froki out there that much clogging up everything because usually it'll be dead weight just because all your froggy deer will already be out. However, you do want to start with Froki more often than not, so that's why you're running more Froki than any other basic Pokemon. We are running four froggy deer, the absolute max, just for water duplicates to effectively use that and to use it to its fullest potential. And we're running two different types of Greninja. One Greninja from the XY set with Water Shuriken. Once during your turn, you may discard a Water Energy from your hand if you do put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. That has phenomenal synergy with Giant Water Shuriken. Because, I mean, basically, this deck is kind of what I like to call Swarm and Snipe, where you just get out a bunch of Greninja and then just start sniping things left and right. The other Greninja we are using is the one from Breakpoint with the Moonlight Slash. For one Water Energy, does 60 plus 20 if you return a water energy from this Pokemon to your hand. So, I mean, it's a great one energy attacker and really works out with Greninja Break for uh, being inactive and sniping and hitting things really hard. For draw support and helping us with that, we are running a 2-2 line of Remoraid and Octillery, really just for the Abyssal Hand. Actually, that's entirely what we are running it for. And as it turned out, I actually had two Octillery on my bench quite a few times using this deck. So, I mean, it's really not ever necessarily a bad thing to have two of them there just because you get extra draw support because you're discarding so much with Water Shuriken and Giant Water Shuriken. On to the trainers. We are running four Dive Ball just to get out all of our water Pokemon. Four, three Level Ball. Just, I mean, that's kind of just the second best thing, and I don't really want to run any Ultra Balls just because they get rid of a lot of precious resources, and while they help a lot, Dive Ball is exquisite for that as well. We're running one Max Potion just because, I mean, Greninja only will have one energy on it, usually at the most, and Moonlight Slash returns a water energy from your hand, and Greninja Break is very bulky with 170 HP, meaning that our opponent generally will not knock it out in one hit. So Max Potion is phenomenal for that, just healing off damage. Uh, one Professor's Letter just to get some water energy into our hand. One Super Rod because you discard so much, like in case your Frogadier goes down early after you use uh, water duplicates, you can use Super Rod just to bring it right back and have another Greninja going. We are running one switch in the deck as well because, I mean, Greninja, while this Greninja has free treat and this only has one, sometimes you start with a mill tank active and you want to get out a Frogadier. So, I mean, that's what the switch is for. Three VS Seeker just to get our supporters back. Two Fishermen just because, I mean, you're discarding so much water energy once you get fully set up and Fishermen can just bring all of those right back. One Lysander because, I mean, this deck really doesn't rely on... Lysander that much. However, it is really, really nice to have as kind of a stall tactic sometimes, and also 
if you want to like Moonlight Slash or something like that. I mean, it's not really necessary, but I mean, it's just a phenomenal card to have. 3-3 uh, three, three line of Birch and Sycamore just for draw support. One Wally in case you go second and you start with a Froakie. That way you can immediately get a Frogadier and immediately get a Water Duplicates going, so that is phenomenal. And uh, as for the stadiums, you have a couple options. I opted for uh, ro two Rough Seas and one Training Center. I mean, it's really kind of a double-edged sword either way. I mean, Rough Seas, I mean, they will kind of mitigate the sniping damage against other water Pokemon and Training Center can help other evolved Pokemon. So it's really just a matter of what you choose and what you want to go with. I decided Rough Seas just because, I decided to run more Rough Seas just because I mean you don't generally run into that many water decks and also with this deck you're usually knocking out things that turn anyway so they don't always have the option to recover off the damage that you hit them with. Running three Muscle Band just, I mean, that's just powers up the attackers. Two Splash Energy. I'm only running two, not four, just because um, you cannot get them out with Super Rod. You can't get them out with Fisherman. They're not able to be used for Water Shuriken or Giant Water Shuriken. Basically, they're just used in, the, in its most effective form to slap onto Frogadier or Greninja right as it's about to get knocked out. That way you get those things right back to your hand. And then eight Water Energy, just, I mean just for Water Shuriken and Giant Water Shuriken and attacking and etc etc. So yeah, that is the deck and let's just go ahead and see it in action. Alrighty, we have found one against a Derpa Tronic and okay, I'm against a Grass deck. How do I possibly have the advantage? I don't, I don't understand this. Called the Coin Flip. Oh, we won! Yay! I think that is, I've been playing a little bit today and I think that is actually the first Coin Flip I have won. So that is pretty monumental for me. Uh, let's see if we start with a Froki. Yes, we do. Uh, that's something I can... That's actually really awesome. So let's see what my opponent starts with. That'll depend... That'll determine what I decide to dive ball for. And it looks like he's running a Cricketune deck. Huh, that's weird. Uh, but I will... I will be able to snipe it out more than likely, and we do... My opponent's mulliganing a couple times. Let's... Uh, so we will be able to get a couple more cards. Let's hopefully not get any Frogadier off of it. Uh, yes, please. Okay, so we do get another Froakie, and... Yeah, let's just go ahead and press done. I think, yeah, what I am going to do is play the Froakie down. Let's just go ahead and... Wally to get a Frogadier onto the... I'm going to go get a Frogadier on the bench, and then I'm going to Dive Ball to grab a Remoraid. There we go. Play that to there. Let's go ahead and grab two Water Energy, attach one to this Froki, and I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to play the Training Center just in case he Lysanders in the Frogadier. That way he can't kill it in one turn. I mean, he has to have a muscle band and a strong energy in order to kill me. And okay, so it's a like, it's a Lucario Trevenant EX, uh, it's like a Lucario Trevenant EX Cricketune deck. So that's, that's pretty interesting to say the least. But what I can do this turn is my, I don't think my opponent, okay, so my opponent needs a muscle band and a grass energy to be able to knock me out this turn, and it doesn't look like he necessarily has it, I don't think. Okay, so he does not. That is great for us. What I can do is play the Frogadier here, go ahead and play this energy onto this Frogadier, play the Greninja right there. Uh, I can go ahead and actually... I think I'm going to Wally this turn just to get an Octillery out. That way I don't have to, like, worry about dive-balling for it later. And, yes, let's go ahead and evolve that. Let's go for a... a actually, you know what? I don't want to risk getting another Frogadier in my hand. So what I am just going to go ahead and do is immediately water duplicates, get two of them on the bench, and just go from there. So this will be... This will be a kind of tough battle just because we are against a... Uh, we are against a grass deck, and luckily my opponent hasn't been getting too much help yet. He will be able to hit us for a Dark Forest for 40 this turn, but I think I should be able to... 
Okay, so what I am going to immediately do is switch into my Greninja. Go for an Abyssal Hand now. See if I can get something that I can work with before I uh, Birch. And, oh sweet, I even get this. I even get the Greninja Break. I can put this here. Go for a... Do I want the Rough Seas out? I think, I think I will. So let's go ahead and Rough Seas. And then I can Sycamore to get some more cards. I even get a Dive Ball. And my opponent just scoops because, I mean, we had such a great setup. Oh, man, I kind of wanted to actually play that out. But unfortunately, my opponent just conceded after he saw all that we had set up. And, I mean, this deck really is able to swarm if you're able to get past the first turn, which we were able to do. So, I mean, like, it's a great deck, and obviously I'm not going to end the video there. I'm going to try to get one more with this, like, where I can actually really show off all that it can do. Alrighty, we have found another one against, uh, Sh 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 Shazil? S-Z-H-E, I, I, I don't know how to say that. Uh, we do get the coin flip. Do we get to go first? And yes, we do. Oh, that is great to see. Um, so, yes, we would like to go first. Uh, hopefully we can start with a Froki. Yes, we even do. So that is that is pretty phenomenal, actually. Um, get a mill tank on the bench. We can slap a muscle band onto it. Go for a Professor Birch's Observations. Hopefully get something to where I can get a Froki or a Froggy Deer. That's what I meant. And okay, so I think we are in a decent position to start. Uh, it really depends on what my opponent is running. I'm might be a Garch Chomp deck, in which case we both need a couple turns to completely set up, but I think if it is a Garchomp Chomp deck, then I will be in the driver's seat more than likely, and uh, hmm, I wonder what my opponent's thinking about, okay, he's probably just, yeah, he was just thinking about what he wanted to send out, and alright, we are in, okay, so he starts with a Landorus, let's go ahead and play the Mill tank there. Let's play the muscle band here. Let's go for a. I don't think there's any way he can knock me out this turn. Uh, we do even have weakness, so that's great. Uh, I'm gonna go for that there. Go for a Birch's observations. Hopefully get heads. Yes, we do. That is great to see. And I'm even gonna play the remoraid here and i think i'm going to sit on my hand this turn yeah because i don't think there's any way he could knock me out with a muscle band and a strong energy but if that's the case then hmm, um i think i'll just go ahead and play this froki down for now just because i will be able to evolve it later and if he does knock us out because I'm, I'm kind of paranoid about that, because, I mean, what what else would he have out? I mean, whatever he else he has out, he... Okay, so he just does Team Flare Grunt, so he just goes for that first turn. He will be able to Shout of Power. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to... Okay, so there's the Muscle Band. So, I mean, he had a little bit of what I was worried about, but not everything. And we do even see the Pokemon Center. So... Or the Training Center. Why do I keep saying Pokemon Center? I don't know. But what I am going to go ahead and do is switch into this Froki just because, uh, because, I mean, style points, right? Go for a Dive Ball, grab a Frogadier. Let's see, how many do we have? One, two, three. Okay, so one of our Frogadier is prized. That's, that's unfortunate. But what I will be able to do is play the Frogadier here, evolve that Froki, go for a Professor Sycamore. We even get a, uh, okay, so this is good, this is good, we can work with this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dive ball to grab another, hmm, do I want to grab another Frogadier or do I want to grab a, I think I want to grab a Remoraid, or I want to grab an Octillery rather, because then I will be able to get Frogadier out on the bench and I will be able to get Froki evolved next turn, I, I will be able to get Froki evolved later. And so yeah, I'm just going to do that, go for a Water Duplicates, get both of these on the bench. If I had three Froki in the uh, deck, then I definitely would have Dive Balled for a... Uh, or if I had three Frogadier in the deck, I would have Dive Balled for one of them, just because I only had two bench spaces. But okay, we are in a pretty solid position right now. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is play the Splash Energy onto... 
I'm not sure who I'm going to play the Splash Energy onto yet, but what I will do is Dive Ball for a Greninja, play, the, play it onto the active Frogadier, and then, okay, so my opponent just attacks me, that is just fine, sorry about the voice cracks, I am, like I said, I tried, I tried to push past it, but, I mean, I, I, I tried to wait it out, but unfortunately it did not decide to cooperate, and so we just have to roll with it. Let's just go ahead and play the Rough Seas right there, heal off two of them, uh, let's go ahead and play the... You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and Abyssal Hand, because I will just probably Professor Birch's Observations this turn. Uh, yes, let's do that. And then even if I get Tails, it's not the end of the world, just because I have a pretty solid setup. And yeah, we do get Tails. Again, not the end of the world, like I said. Let's just go ahead and play the Muscle Band onto... I, I, I don't care. I'm just gonna play it onto this Frogadier. And then we'll be able to take a knockout with the, actually, um, I think, can we knock it out with a shadow stitching? I think we can. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, just because we don't want our opponent to have any more abilities or anything like that to be able to stop us from working our magic. And I, I hope my opponent gets something, because I want to play this battle out. Like, I don't want it to just be a forfeit because my opponent didn't draw anything like I have a okay so he gets a teammates and hopefully my opponent will be able to get something set up I, I really want them to just because I mean I, I like this battle like this is this is a battle where I have almost everything set up and I want to be able to just play it out like it is and we do see the Lucario okay so my opponent is starting to power up the Lucario on the bench what I can do is rough seas again play Put this Greninja down here, play this Greninja break right here. Uh, I think I will actually... Let's go ahead and... I think I'm going to regular Water Shuriken onto this. And how much energy do I have in my discard pile? Let's see. I have two, I have three. So I think I'm going to Fisherman. One, two, three. Grab all of those and then knock out go for a giant water shuriken to knock out the Rhyhorn so we will be able to take a prize off of that and I still will be able to hit the Lucario for some good damage next turn and we even get the other Frogadier so that's phenomenal let's go ahead and do that uh, play this onto probably this actually you know what I kinda wanna keep it uh, let's go ahead and Abyssal Hand get a couple more cards and I think I'm just going to end the turn right there by going for a... And let's put this one here just cuz. Let's go for a Moonlight Slash. Yes, I will just return one of them to my hand. I mean, it was coming back anyway. I just decided to. That way I could have some energy on the active Greninja just because. And I think... I think we win no matter what this turn. So yeah, I, we definitely we definitely win. Unfortunately, my opponent couldn't get much going. That's unfortunate, but I mean, we were able to get everything we wanted and more. Let's go ahead and go for a giant water shuriken. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to end this battle with style points. So let's go for a water shuriken, and then I'm going to go ahead and Professor Sycamore. If I can get, like, another water energy or something, I think. Yep, and I'm going to play this here, and I'm going to end this with Style Free Treat into this Greninja. Play this here. Go ahead and Giant Water Shuriken and knock out the Lucario. So, I mean, I didn't even have to attack that turn, and I was able to knock out a Fighting Fury Belt Enhanced Lucario EX. I mean, that's... that is ridiculous. I mean, this deck can swarm and snipe so quickly, so efficiently. I mean, it's a very, very great deck. I mean, sometimes you get stuck, and if your opponent is able to overwhelm you early, then you'll have a little bit of trouble. But, I mean, this deck, this is a great deck. Otherwise, I really, really like it. It's easily my favorite deck from Breakpoint so far. And, uh, again, guys, sorry about my voice. Uh, like I said, I was trying to put it off as much as I could, but I finally gave up and was like, you know what, I would rather have a video out Monday than uh, just try to wait it out. So, sorry about that. Hope you still enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.